He's back on Saturday nights with his award-winning TV burp. And in his new diary here, which is quite a thick diary, actually, he reveals all sorts of amazing facts about his private life. Here to elucidate, will you please welcome the man himself, Mr Harry Hill. Thank you. <laughs> This little chap. Well, I brought along uh, Lord Sugar. Oh, Lord Alan right. Sugar. Yeah. Hello, You're Lord Sugar. You're fired. I want to be a billionaire so <laughs> freaking bad. <laughs> He's coming up. Uh, 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 you're a lightweight. You're fired. Uh, and he, he whistles as well. Oh, go on then. We suggest a, a tune and we'll see if he can whistle it. See if he can whistle while you work. Whistle while you work. Go on then. Uh, do you know that one? Uh, I'll have a go. Uh, anyway. <laughs> That's all I do with him. That's all I do with him. Uh, Harry, I've been reading this tome of yours. My, th my thick diary. Yes, and you've had quite a year. I didn't know you'd had a dog for a start. A dog? Yeah, yeah. well, I've heard, a, a, you know, he, he works at the airport. A lot of the dogs work at the airport. Yeah. You know, he got a job down at the airport. Not, um, not as a sniffer dog, but working in, in uh, boots. Uh, <laughs> stacking shelves. Just stacking shelves. <laughs> then I found out... <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody slip me something before I come out. <laughs> Be medication kicking in. <laughs> You're hard. Uh, but he um, he got the sack for uh, sexual harassment, unfortunately. <laughs> in the, in the, in the, that's not funny. In the workplace, who was he sexually harassing? A uh, another no, another dog. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, another dog, a collie. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yes. how awful. Yes. Right there on the, in, on the shop floor. Yes. Not even the, the right breed, because he's a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> and he sold the story, hasn't he, this dog? He sold his story to the sun. Oh, he hasn't. Yeah, and the tabloids. About you, is this? Yeah, it's quite painful, because, as you know, my uh, nan was... Uh, she bought a holiday home out in Najaf. Um, <laughs> as part of, you know, in, a, in Iraq. I know, as, yeah. As part of... <laughs> <laughs> As part of the, a, a Place in the Sun programme on Channel 4. <laughs> yeah. And how's she getting on? She enjoying it? It's, it's not working out, really. Oh, that's <laughs> no. Someone threw a stone at her the other day. No. Yes. But that's one of the problems of committing adultery in a... Sh in, a <laughs> in a Shia Muslim hotspot. But, um... <laughs> no, she phoned me up the other day, actually, and I could hear all these bombs and guns going off. And yeah. I said to her, Nan, where are you? And she said, I'm in uh, Lebanon. Right? I thought, that's odd. I said, what are you doing out there? She said, I'm getting uh, those pants that you wanted me to get you for your birthday. I said, Nan, Debenhams. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a joke. <laughs> that was a... And you've been, you've been playing matchmaker. I can't believe this. He's been playing matchmaker for Susan Boyle, of all people. <laughs> yeah, in the, it's all in the book. How's uh, that going? Well, you know, she got off with Alan Bennett, the playwright. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she confides in me. She told me not to tell anyone, and I have. You know, it's all in the book. It's, it's, uh, oh, yeah. And how's yes. it going, the relationship? Is it... Ticking? The book or the relationship? No, the relationship. Um, <laughs> is it ticking along nicely, Harry? Yeah, well, basically, Simon Cowell, I think, intervened and has called it off because he didn't want the un you know, unnecessary uh, publicity. Yeah. You know, so he's, he's stepped in and uh, banned her from seeing him. That's rotten, that. Because she never had a boyfriend, Susan, has she? Um, I that I don't know. No, she, I don't, she told me. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> are you... Well, she leaves me every night, but she <laughs> kept that quiet <laughs> about Alan Dennis. Yeah. Well, I'll have you, Boyle, when I see you next. Yeah, well, my she... nerves hanging out. Yeah, well, that may have been why she was so passionate in those first few encounters. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot built up there that she wanted to, you know, really go for it. Now, look, TV babes back, but you've axed one of your stars. Why? You mean the knitted character? Yes. Yes. Oh, grow up. Oh, no, Harry, we like the knitted character. Well, I can reveal, Paul, that uh, just like X Factor have a wild card, I am playing my <laughs> wild card this weekend and I'm going to approach the knitted... In fact, actually, you know, this isn't really 
uh, Alan Sugar. You no. worked that out. No. It's actually, it's an animatronics uh, robotic puppet. And operating it inside the, is actually... The Nessa... <laughs> What have I created here? I don't know. What well, no. have you created? Unfortunately, I don't do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. Do you know, because you're a telly fanatic, aren't you? I mean, you have to watch well, hours and hours and yeah, hours of yeah, telly. Yes. My, for me, one of the saddest things this year is the acting of the bill. I mean, I hate it. Oh, that. tell me about it. The bill. I yeah. mean, but actually, you know what they've done? They, they've axed uh, Last of the Summer Wine as well. The yeah. two of them. But I've heard they're actually combining the two <laughs> into... Uh, the bill for the summer wine. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new show, and as part of TV Burp, uh, I've managed to get us a part in it. No, for, really? Yes. Should we go? Come it, on, They're Ali. filming it now. Come We'd on, better quick. hurry. OK, come on, quickly. That way, innit? <laughs> it's a shame we got relocated to the Jasmine Allen estate, Ed Whistle. Yes, Alvin. All right, let's empty your pockets. We've had a tip off. You're tooled up. Sorry, let's go. I'm going. You're on us. Come on, that scooter. Absolutely. Yes, it is. And yeah. I'll tell you what, crime fighting is thirsty work, so we're going to go up and have a bevy now. <laughs> up next, we've got Michael McIntyre. <laughs> X Factor champion, Joe McEldry. 